right, welcome back. Um, now, I've extended all the fingers, and this is a good point to start looking into your uh, uh, front view, where I've built my hand, and you can already see the proportions are way off. I mean, the index finger is too slim, so is the ring finger, and, and the ring finger is really tiny, and the pinky is actually way too big. Now, what I'm gonna do is, um, show you just how to use the trickery of um, placing it so that we can scale these things properly and maybe reposition them at the same time. Now let's start with the middle finger because it's way too fat and um, one way of doing something to it actually get the proportions right and we want to make them like maybe this big but well, maybe the, the size is actually pretty good because all the fingers, when we're actually going to round the shape off, smooth it, they're going to be a little bit tinier, a little bit slimmer. So what I'm going to do is um, select all the polygons in this finger. And to do that, I'm going to uh, go to the selection tool and switch this off. Only select visible elements is switched off and now I can just select all these and I'm just making circular motions so that I can also select the polygons at the side and as soon as I click again I deselect everything. Let's check if I have the correct selection. Ah, looks okay. No, I missed one. See? That's why you should do it like this. Not too many, not too few. Great. Now, I'm going to go back to the front view and I'm going to scale. Now, the problem with scaling is that it always goes to the middle of your selection. So right now it's in the middle of the finger. So if I'm going to scale just over the Y axis, it's going to slump the bottom down into the palm of the hand. But I can correct that with just moving it back up. So first of all, I'm just going to eyeball it and make this finger longer. And you see here it dips down. And I'm just going to use the Move tool. Or you can hit the E button on your keyboard and move it up like this. Now, problem is, um, when I'm trying to do this with the other fingers, make them thicker, not so much longer, but thicker, um, well, you'll see what the problem is. I just select these ones, check if my selection is proper, uh, yeah, looks like it, nope, missed a couple. See, that's why you need to check, and you always have to roll around your model just to see if it goes okay. Now, I'm going to back, go back to the uh, front window, and my axes are straight up. Now, this is not handy because I've, if I'm going to scale it over the Z and X axes, it's not going to go right. It's going to go crooked. Here, I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to switch off. First, I'm going to go to the scale. I'm going to switch off the Y. So this axis doesn't work anymore. It's only going to scale over the thickness of the finger. But if I do this, it, it's going to shear. So I'm not going to do that. Not straight off the bat at least and I'm just gonna go to model mode and rotate my just hit R on your keypad and just you can eyeball this it doesn't need to be exact because it's gonna be way organic so I'm just gonna rotate the hand so that the index finger is straight here now if I go back to my polygons and hit this key because this is the local coordinate system. I'm just going to go to scale. And you see the axes are crooked, but that's all right. I'm just going to go to global axis. It will return to the global axis of my whole entire world. And now I can just scale it the way I want to. So I'll make it slightly thicker, like this. And it matches with this one, so that's pretty good. I'll move it up and of course it returns to the local axis so I'm just gonna flip it 
and move it up like this. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter because my middle finger is longer than my index finger, so I'm just going to go back to scaling. And now if I just hit this scale, I'm just going to scale it back slightly and hit the E button and move the finger back. Right, now you can do this obviously for the ring finger and the pinky. The pinky has to be smaller. So I'm just going to go back and uh, hit the rotate button, rotate the hand entirely, straighten out these lines, and then just hit the scale button. First, of course, make a selection ring. Don't forget, in polygon mode, and just go like this. Another thing you can do if, if you if, if this is much too much of a hassle just go to the rectangular selection this one is switched off already and I'll just go like this and all the polygons that are entirely inside my selection box will be selected and um, let's see I hit the scale button check these things out don't forget uh, X and Y Sorry, the Y is switched off. That's not correct. Just gonna take the Z off for a minute and just scale it up so that my finger is actually the correct size. And then I can just, I know this one is switched off, but if I hit that blue block, I override my setting here and just move it out etc. Right. You get the way this works.